Hi guys, Smith Clear, welcome to the third round of the XRL Formula C League, and today I'm at Bono. Now, last round at Hakunaim, I finished in second place, which wasn't bad. I'd have liked the win, of course, but unfortunately, I didn't save enough fuel for me not to pit, and really, that's what got far up in the win. He managed to conserve enough fuel for him not to stop, and he took the win quite comfortably in the end. But anyway, let's go on to the qualifying lap. So, entering turns one and two, fourth gear. Then this is turn three, and then quite a medium length straight here going up, preparing for turn four, shift down at the ambulance from gear six to gear three eventually, so now preparing for turn five, which is a gear four corner. For some people it's gear five, but I don't think I was running enough downforce, which uh, really maybe cost me in the corners, but anyway. Gear, turn 6 is gear 4 and then turn 7 as well gear 4 and then turn 8 shift down to gear 3 so exiting you can see in the top right I'm up on my time up, up on my sector 1 time so it's looking good so far made the car had a little slip there on turn 9 so might have lost a little bit of time so heading downhill now for the turn 11 right hander long right hander so trying to have a good exit and now coming uphill for turn 12 and turn 13 little sh like chicane type complex of corners here so heading out of turn 13 uphill again so very got a lot of changes of elevation this track has so very interesting quite fun to drive so heading into the last turn now and hopefully can improve on the time looks like I'm about two or three temps up on the top right so see if I cross the line and I do a 47 0 which put me in sixth place yeah and I gotta admit I'm very disappointed with that but I've got to say well done to Jerome did a very good lap time to do a 45 9 round here I mean I thought 47 was gonna be up there but no I was very surprised but anyway let's see how I get on in the race Decent start, a little bit better than Scattergold, but still in sixth. And you see me hover over to the left, and I didn't think anybody was there. And then I realised Davy G was there, so I had a back out, and that gives IVC sixth place. So down into seventh. Bernie is in eighth. Now just trying to obviously have a clean opening lap now. So heading into turn four. And then C has to avoid scatter gold and there's contact which puts me on the grass. Thankfully didn't lose a position and all, all importantly my car wasn't damaged from that contact. But anyway, skipping on to lap five and still in seventh place. Get gap to scatter gold only about a second. C got past scatter gold, I believe. Scatter gold made a mistake and I've made a mistake just there on the exit of turn 13, which has let the merge go through. So. Scatter Gold also made a mistake, so really I haven't lost a position. So on to lap 12 now, and car in the pits, Sebes in the pits, so up into six. And obviously now, really, the, I've got to say, the strategy was just to save fuel, so I had to try something different because the pace was just not there. So obviously, to gain positions, I had to try and take a risk and not stop, which hopefully will work as Davey has pitted now. So up into fifth place. Hopefully there's a few other cars pitting so I jump up position but the others at the top are quite good on fuel so I don't think many others will pit but Jerome has pitted so up into fourth but see now I've had to really save fuel and I'm still trying to save fuel quite heavy but and Dave is all over me now I, he catch me up I did make a little mistake which gained him about a second so yeah unfortunate but I've got to be honest, I'm not really racing Davey. My goal was just to, at this point, was just to uh, conserve fuel enough so I managed to finish the race because at this stage it wasn't looking too good for me. And Davey got past. Thankfully, I didn't turn in because I just saw him. Don't know what made me see him in the mirror, but thankfully I saw him going for the dive bomb. Otherwise, but I think I'd have had suspension damage and not been able to finish the race. But anyway, lap 20 now. And this is just to show how much fuel saving I was doing on the whole race. Although it wasn't as drastic as this lap, 
because this lap I was thinking that you know I might not be able to save fuel so see now lifting off in the straight short shifting not changing gears and all that stuff really that's all I'm doing in this lap to save fuel but because at the moment it looks like I'm gonna get fifth so the strategy won't be too bad if I make it work but let's see now how's I get on so you just not really revving the engine as well trying to just obviously conserve as much fuel as I can for the remaining two laps after this lap so heading through turn 10 and now you'll see now short shifting from 4th to 5th on the green 5th to 6th and then take this in gear 4 gear 3 sorry so then just keep short shifting through the gears to save fuel then I like lift in sort of every sort of braking zone well not well when they've got straight on the end of the straights I lift so really just hopefully can save enough fuel for the two laps it looks good now looks much better than it did on the start of lap 20 and I think I'll have enough because it's 1.9 if you're going flat out and I'm doing 1.74 I think that was previous lap so that's how much fuel saving I've been doing 0.16 a lap so not bad but in the last few laps it's been really drastic but on the last lap you'll see fifth place but touch the curb and now it's going to go to seventh place which obviously I was very frustrated with it because I did an I felt I did a really good job to conserve the fuel enough and so frustrating I'd have been happy with fifth I was very pleased with fifth if I would have got it but to lose it on the last lap the grip had gone in the left and I felt it when uh, I was battling with Davy and I don't know how I managed to stay on track but I think the touching the curb didn't help as well really but anyway coming home to finish in seventh position which obviously is not very good but I've got to admit I didn't do much practice which I think didn't help at all and I uh, didn't really prepare as much as I did for Hockenheim which cost me maybe a few attempts but anyway hope you enjoyed it hopefully at Nürburgring people won't be doing as well as I did here but anyway thanks for watching and goodbye <laughs>